Hey, this is Ken. How's everything going? Welcome to today's kata. Today's kata is called RGB to X conversion, which basically asks us to convert a uh, RGB from decimal to hex value. Mm. So let's read through the question first. The RGB function is incomplete. Completed so that passing in RGB decimal values will result in a hexadecimal representation being returned. Valid decimal values for RGB are 0 to 255. Any values that fall out of the range must be rounded to the closest valid value. And there's another important note that our answer should always be six characters long. So let's go through the examples. So the first one is quite simple. 255 is FF in hex value. So this RGB decimal will return as six Fs. And in the second example, so the last one is 300, as the notice given here, it should be rounded as 255, which is also FF in hex. And the three zeros should be returned as six zeros in the return, because it should always be six characters long. And this one will be quite straightforward, so just convert everything into hex value, and pending zeros if it's not six characters. So let's go have a try. All right, I think we can define the function that convert the decimal value into hex and combine them together as a return value of this RGB function. So we can say return to hex, which is a function we will define later, r plus g and b. We assume that a two hex function will return a string with a length of two characters always. So let's define this function. So two hex value. Remember that if any value that fall out of the range must be rounded to the closest value. So if value is smaller than zero, even though this condition is not given in the example, but we still need to do it, then value equals zero. If value is bigger than 255, then it must be 255. All right, so this is the rounded part. And then we need to convert it into hex. If you know a building function hex, that converts a decimal value into hex, but in string type. And after the conversion, we also need to get rid of the first two characters if you don't know why, please have a try in your Python interpreter. All right, now we have the value in hex format as a string. The only thing we need to consider is if this string only has one character, how can we pad a zero in front of it? All right, so one more step. We need to convert it into upper characters, All right? So I think there are two ways I can think about. The first thing is to use R just. It moves the string to the right and as a length of two. If there's any empty space, then we fill it with zero. I think we can return it like this. I think that's, that looks good. Let's have a try. Cool, it passes all the tested cases. Let's have some random tests. Perfect. But before we submit this solution, there's another way I can think about. Let's say return. So we keep this part as a value in upper cases. The other way we can do is to use a string formatting, which can be written like this. So we define a format. And we format this value according to the defined format. Okay, what we need to do is to say this is a value. We want to keep the string on its right. And if the string is less than two, then we use zero to fill it. Then let's have a try. Cool, we we'll solve it again. All right, I think we got the right answer for this kata. And I also present two solutions for the string formatting. I hope you like it. Let's submit it.
and head to the next carta.